So first, let's talk about the meaning of PFA or Psychological First Aid. PFA is a set of skills and knowledge that can be used to help people who are in distress. It is a way of helping people to feel calm and able to cope in a difficult situation. It is also a design to reduce the initial distress caused by traumatic events and to foster short and long-term adaptive functioning and coping. It is a short-term strategy to stabilize ourselves and others when in distress. As teacher and we considered a psychological first aid helper in school, we should have enough knowledge and skills on how we are going to help someone in distress. PFA is very important to relieve both emotional and physical suffering, to improve people's short-term functioning, and to accelerate the individual's course of recovery. Next, we have the components of psychological first aid. Create a sense of safety. Create calm. Create self and collective efficacy. Create connection and create hope. Let us discuss the components of psychological first aid one by one. First, create a sense of safety. Get help so that you feel safe. When you feel safe, you feel less vulnerable. You offer support to others and receive help yourself. It can increase your sense of control. Next component of psychological first aid is to create calm. How to create a sense of calm? Create a sense of calm by managing your own emotions. This is called self-soothing. There are many ways to do this. Just expressing feelings to someone you feel safe with can reduce their intensity so you can think more clearly. Taking a break to socialize, exercise, practice a relaxation technique, or just breath slowly can help you reset your responses. Feelings aren't always accurate, but like pain, they are warning system that won't just go away if you ignore it. Meaning to say, there's a lot of ways to do in order to cope what we are experiencing after a crisis. So don't ignore it. Instead, find ways to feel relaxed and safe by doing activities such as exercise, socializing, and others. Third component of psychological first aid is to create self and collective efficacy. In psychology, self-efficacy is an individual's belief and their capacity to act in the ways necessary to reach specific goals. To create self and collective efficacy, regain a sense of control and self-efficacy. Engaging in problem solving and allowing yourself to determine what you need to cope can be empowering. Realizing that you still have the power to do something, even if it is only a small step, can make a huge difference. Fourth component of psychological first aid is to create connection. Tap into your need for social connection. The key is to find a way to engage in an interaction with other people, not to simply observe their actions on social media. To create a connection, you can talk to your family, you can talk to your friends or co-workers, and also you can talk to our Almighty God through prayer to ask for His guidance and protection. And last component of psychological first aid is to create hope. Connect to hope. If the past has taught us anything, it is that humans are resilient and that we can endure tough times. Psychological first aid won't cure whatever you're doing through, but it can help you generate and maintain hope that, like oxygen, is essential for your well-being. We believe with the saying that no one is an island, no one is truly self-sufficient, everyone 
must rely on the company and comfort of others in order to thrive.